I thought I would follow up with you and share this little video on how to create passive income for you as a teacher, how to create passive income for a graphic designer, how to set up your debt reduction picture, and then resources to help you be successful in finding the money to pay down your debt so that you can live your financial life with intention. So check out these resources. Creating passive income is everyone's dream because you do it one time and then it's done and then you sell it over time, which then that's when the, the passive part comes into play. So there is some work beforehand. I created a course called Preparing Financially for Adoption. I wanted to be able to reach a larger audience, but I also wanted it to be a passive income for me. I used Teachable. So that's what you see in front of you. And I really like just the simple look of the course. And you can use Teachable. You could also use Thinkific, Udemy, and Skillshare. You can also look into Teachers Pay Teachers. And that one, um, I would really definitely recruit your spouse to help with creating some graphic design logos, banners, flyers to help sell those on your Teachers Pay Teachers um, website. So those are just a couple of places that you can create some passive income by doing courses. So thinking specifically about your particular situation, you're a special education teacher. And as a special education teacher, what do you specialize in? And how can you help parents or other teachers better serve their students? So. I know that as a parent of a child that has um, an IEP, I know that understanding how my child thinks and how I can help him overcome the struggles that he has, those kind of things are really, really um, important. Um, so then I want to go to another aspect about how to help you create passive income as a teacher. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is affiliate income. One of the things that you as a special education teacher, you recommend that parents might buy a weighted blanket or a vest to help calm a child, or maybe it's those squishy balls or the really cool gadgets that help with focusing your brain, or maybe it's a specific kind of pencil or a type of computer that that child might really benefit from. So that's where affiliate income comes into play. If you like a product and you would recommend it as a teacher, go find the affiliate program or contact the company and ask them if you marketed it on your website and through your social media, if you could get a percentage of those sales. So those are some things that you can look into. CJ Affiliates um, is just one of the different affiliate companies that are out there. And they may or may not have the specific um, tools that you need, but there are other um, affiliate programs. Impact is, is another one. Um, and sometimes it's directly with the company. So if you like a product, Google that plus affiliate program and see if that product that you love has an affiliate program. And then just begin putting it on your website, promoting it, letting people know about it and what your recommendation is. So you can create a short video about the product, what you like it uh, about it as a teacher, and then post that on your social media and direct people back to your website so they can then click on your affiliate link. If you are looking for photos and videos that you can use that are royalty free, this site right here is Pixabay, and I really like to use them for social media, um, pictures, 
And then also um, this one right here, Shutterstock is another place that you can look. So I hope these are helpful in helping you create passive income ideas for you as a teacher. How do you create an income using your graphic design experience? Well, here are just a couple of things that teachers are looking for. They are looking for really super cute ideas to download to help reiterate what they've just taught to their special needs child that's in their classroom. So these are just a couple of ideas that other people have done and you can see how much they sell them for, which gives you an idea of what you could market your product for as well. You can also go to Etsy and you can sell on Teachers Pay Teachers. You could sell it on Etsy and you can get an idea of some of the graphic design that other people have put in and what you could then um, provide for clients as well. This one is by far my favorite because millennials are really reaching out and wanting to do coloring pages as a way to get their mind off of work, to relax. So um, teachers will be interested in this. Parents who have children will be interested in this. And then adults who are looking to relax are looking to color and unique and intricate designs. So these are just a couple of the different coloring pages that others have made. And I just love some of these ideas. So these are just a couple of things that you can do to create passive income ideas as a graphic designer and then couple it together with the special education that your wife does and then be able to sell those online. And it may not be all at once, but it, again, it's just a passive income. You do the work now, you tell people about it on social media, you tell people um, about it in person, send them to your website, send them to your Etsy shop, and then be able to sell this on a regular basis. I know several people that are, are earning multiple, um, over $500 to $1,000 on their Etsy shop, but just having a passive income, not really doing a whole lot, but putting it out there. So this is just one way that you can use your graphic design and create passive income for you to help you pay off your debt. One of the things that's really helpful for reducing your debt is to create a picture so that you know when and how to get out of debt. So PowerPay is a really great free site that you can log into and put your information in. So first you'll have to create a profile and that's just putting in your name and a password and um, selecting the information that they put in front of you and then you have your PowerPay. So right here, you have a list of your creditors, your visa balance, um, payment, interest rate, and it tells you how long it takes for your debt to be paid off. And then also, it shows you how much total interest that you've paid towards the, the debt that you have. That's a real eye opener for me when, when I show my clients this is like, wow, I had no idea how much money I would be paying someone to borrow that money. And that can be a really huge motivator to help you pay off that debt faster. So we talked about how to create extra income and when you have set aside your personal spending money and you are um, gaining control and being able to intentionally spend that money, and if you have a couple hundred dollars that you can then apply towards your debt or create some passive income ideas to help generate some income to apply towards your debt, or maybe you get a large sum of money during tax time, you can go over here 
to the button that's on the left hand side that says extra payments and put that amount of money in to the calculator. Choose the date, save the payment information. So then you're going to look at the payment calendar. Here on this payment calendar, this shows you if you paid highest interest first, calculated interest, those, um, and it tells you what your savings would be if you did a specific direction. So, you know, a lot of people say, you know, most definitely pay off the high interest rate or pay off the highest balance. This right here is going to tell you factually. There's another factor to think about. If there's a specific debt that like really gives you a lot of pain and you just, every time you think about it, it like really, really irritates you, I'd pay that one off first because that will give a, a sense of relief and the feeling of accomplishment. So that that's something to think about when you're putting in the information. And then we go down here. And you can see how much you apply towards each debt and how much you apply every month. So I put that extra $500 for January 2021. Um, and then I also applied an extra $1,000 in March. So you can see how um, those boosts will help pay off the um, debt sooner. And then also, you can download this as an Excel file and paste it somewhere and then check mark it off to visually see it in front of you so both of you can be together in making that decision. So that just helps you with creating that picture of how to pay off your debt. Let me show you quickly the cube money. This is the digital banking with cash envelopes. I love this, I'm very excited about it. And I have an affiliate link that I'll include to, um, I, I love it so much, I became an affiliate. Um, and I love the fact that you can have different cubes or categories or specific savings accounts for your personal spending money. Because this is where all of the leaks occur that stop you from reaching your personal goals. So go check out Cube Money, the cashless envelope system.